Then she thought I was done, huh? I am not even close to being done. This is a lot more challenging than I thought it was going to be. But um, there are some mistakes I've made. And um, like I said in the beginning, I'm not a professional. And if I can get this like 90% okay, then I mean, I'm happy. Um, I don't know how these people who do this professionally get these things to be so perfect. I mean, obviously experience is the best teacher, so um, it works. But I can show you what I have done so far. And um, you, know, you can be the judge of what's going on. Definitely got this fender done. I got this door right here done, completely done. Um, I skipped this door because I didn't want to have to take off the door panel inside to take the door handle off. I was being lazy. So I went on ahead and just started on the quarter panel back here, which, you know, looks great from, from this angle until you zoom in on it. And then, then you realize your boy's got, you know, like the wrinkles, you know, in a few places and up on the top here is a couple wrinkles, but that's okay. I didn't see them if you didn't see them. So, um, I'm just going to continue on working on this quarter panel and I'm going to work all the way down to the front of the car there and then I will do this door and then I can go suffer on the other side of the car. So um, I'm just kidding. Um, I I got quoted on this car and it was about $3,500, $4,000 to have this car wrapped. You know, obviously it's going to be different for everywhere depending where you live. Um, some people might be able to say, oh, that's too much. You know, I got it done for like 1500 bucks, but really, I don't know where you found that deal at, especially now where I live at. So, um, this wrap only cost me like 420 bucks, $425. It was on sale. And, um, yeah, so here I am hopefully saving myself at least $3,000 worth of labor, I'd say. So, um. You know, it'll look how it looks. It certainly looks good, you know, from about three feet away, which, you know, is better than 10 feet away. But yeah, let's just get right back into it. What is going on guys? No one will buy back here again. Today is a new day. Today is going to be a good day. I got my uh I got my cool socks on today. <laughs> anyway, um, boy, this is rough. Um, as you can see, I haven't done the hood yet. Uh, I still need to do the hood and the roof. I'll show you. Uh, I haven't done the hood because I need to. I did. I tested a piece on here to see if this was going to show up and sure enough it does. So I need to actually have it look more like this, sanded out completely. This, I thought I might be able to just get away with it, but knowing me, I should have just sanded it down more anyway. But all I did was cut a little test piece off, stuck it on there, and sure enough, if I put the whole wrap on there, you'll, you'll see all of this outline of a clear coat. So I'm gonna have to sand this hood probably completely all the way down. Um, at least to, I don't know, at least to the base coat, just to get all the clear coat. It's just the clear coat that's that's peeling off it, you can see. So, um, same for the roof. Probably going to have to do the same thing, so I'll do that. But overall, so far, done on the side. Uh, I haven't done the hatch yet. 
and guess what I get to do again? This door. I just was not happy with the way that came out, which is funny because I was doing this door over here and it was perfectly fine. All right, excuse me, this fender I did fine. I mean, good enough for me. Um, only really discrepancy is that little guy right there. That. I failed. This door is fine. I did that door right here. Then I did this quarter panel right here. I don't know what happened on this door. I don't know if I was sleeping. I don't know if I was just on a vacation. I don't know what. It was not even dark. It was just like it is now. And I don't know. Something just messed up. But what sucks is I'm going to have to sand this door now because you see I left the wrap on and it uh, pulled the paint off. So I am going to have to now sand that down because if I put the wrap over this, you can definitely see it. So a tip for anyone doing this, um, your paint needs to be, or at least the surface underneath needs to be pretty damn smooth. Otherwise you will see a lot of stuff. And this, I'm using Vivid Plus Premium uh, Wrap. You can see I already got the uh, rolls cut out for the uh, hood, for the roof, and for the hatch. And then I'm glad I have a little bit left over to do the doors. Um, as I was saying in the beginning of the video, I was questioning on wrapping these bumpers because that one has a crack right there. And the back bumper has a big giant piece missing out of it. So I was looking at the AMG bumpers. I did find a, well, not really local to me, kind of local to me, um, a wagon at a pig and pool that has both bumpers, I, I assume. I'm gonna have to drive over and see if they're there. If that's the case, I might grab them. Sucky part is, is I don't have enough wrap to finish the bumpers anyway, which is great. I have enough to do everything else and I have enough to redo this door, which I'm happy. Um, I will have to order some more to get the bumpers done, uh, which is fine, because honestly, I'm kind of digging the two-tone look right now anyway. So, um, I didn't plan to wrap this bumper at all anyway, so it'll just stay like this until I order, well, I gotta order more wrap, which I'm going to do today. So, um, hopefully I won't take too long to get that, but I'm just gonna try and keep plugging away at this door over here now. And uh, I gotta sand it first. You can see that's a lot, a lot better than it was now. Um, I know it looks rough, but it's actually extremely smooth. I just hit it with some 220, or excuse me, 320 grit to kind of cut it down some. And then I went ahead and hit it with some 600 grit right after that, and it's very smooth. say that this door is 100% better than it was so um, I don't know what I was doing like I said earlier but it's fixed now and I actually got that on a lot faster than I usually do um, I just tried a different approach and uh, it's actually way easier to just have a you know 
cut a rectangle out and just lay it on the car. That way you can just pull it left and right and then squeegee it down and it'll look a lot better. So, so yeah, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off the excess and wrap around the corners and we'll be done with that door. And I'm gonna have to unfortunately pull this car back outside so I can sand and more sand the roof and the hood.